The new vCloud Director, Service Integration, empowers administrators to quickly extend the functionality of vCloud Director and rapidly monetize new services. Administrators can create workflows using vRealize Orchestrator, which can then be published within vCloud Director. When workflows are designed, the workflow creator can define any input parameters that are needed to execute the workflow, and vCloud Director will natively render these to the user. This can be simple form data, like defining an input box, or complex, like presenting the user with a list of virtual machines. Using vRealize Orchestrator, I've already created a few simple workflows that I would like to publish to my tenants. In this example, I have created a workflow called Open Ticket. It requires the user to input the name and description of the ticket. Upon completion, this workflow will open a support ticket with my ticketing system by leveraging its API. In order to create a new service, administrators first log into the all new provider administration interface. From here, I can register a vRealize Orchestrator server with vCloud Director. Simply click the plus button to add a server. I give it a name and optional description, as well as the URL, username, and password And in this case, I must provide a trust anchor because I'm using a self-signed cert in my lab. This is a pen format certificate. Now that I've registered a vRealize Orchestrator instance, I will create a new service category to import my workflows into. Service categories are a grouping mechanism for displaying different types of service. Here you can see I've already pre-created two. I'm gonna add a new one for my workflow for creating tickets. I'm gonna provide an icon. And a description for my category. Next, we'll import the workflows from vRealize Orchestrator into vCloud Director. Select Import. Select the target library to which you would like to add the workflows. Select the VRO instance if you have more than one that you would like to import the workflows from. I'm going to navigate to the workflows that I've created and I'm going to import all the ones for this support group. I have an email support, an open, and a view ticket. I'll present it for review the workflows that I've added and to what library that they're going to be added to. Once the workflows are imported, I can control who has access to each service by selecting Manage and Publish Workflow. This can be scoped to service provider access and or tenant access. The tenant access allows for fine grain control of which organization can access each service. Once an organization is given access to the service, the organization administrator can control which of their users can execute the service. To execute a service, I select the execute button. VCloud Director will now prompt me for the required input parameters and validates any restrictions on the user input. Once submitted, the vRealize Orchestrator workflow backing the service will be executed. 
The execution is tracked in vCloud Director just like any other task and can be viewed in the notification area.